Hey everyone and welcome to what might be one of my most eagerly awaited videos. I get so many people asking about this on a daily basis. It's my fault, I was supposed to do this ages ago but I lost my fabric scissors. I have now found them again so here we are and I'm going to be showing you how to cut off the shoulder t-shirts. So this t-shirt for example started out life as just a regular t-shirt. I don't like things really high up near my neck and just the regular fit of t-shirts so I like to cut them like this so they are off the shoulder. I especially like this for my Disney trips when it's really hot I just find this um, a little bit more comfortable and it's you know when you don't have things around your neck you tend not to feel as hot and sweaty so I just love doing this to my t-shirts and I know you guys have been really keen to find out how I do it. I did find out this method from someone else on YouTube. Um, I will put the name of the person on the screen just so that nobody thinks I'm trying to steal their ideas, but I just wanted to show you the exact way that I do it. So before we get started, I just wanna go through a few general tips with this. When you are trying this for the first time, do not use one of your really nice t-shirts. It does take a few tries in my experience to get the technique down and make sure that you've got it exactly how you want it. And if you have bought nicer t-shirts for your vacations or whatever, you're doing you don't want to mess them up um, although I am explaining to you how I do it I cannot take any responsibility for ruined clothing from using this technique so please practice first even if you have to do it a couple of times on an old t-shirt if you don't have old t-shirts you can go to Primark in the UK or I'm sure there's other similar places where you can get very inexpensive just plain t-shirts and then once you've practiced on those if they're not great you could always wear them around the house or whatever but you definitely don't want to spoil any of your nice t-shirts so you practice a few times first and this is actually really easy to do you don't need many different things you will just need a t-shirt and today I will be using this Mr Potato Head t-shirt from Uniqlo and um, like I said practice on a old t-shirt first for sure then you're going to want a tape measure. You will need a pair of scissors. I would highly recommend using fabric scissors. They don't cost very much from Amazon or eBay. You can use regular scissors, but if they're not very sharp, it doesn't come out as well. So I would recommend trying to get some fabric ones. And you will also need a pen. If you are cutting dark t-shirts, you might want a chalk pen or just a piece of chalk. And if you're doing lighter t-shirts, then any pen that you have will do. So before we start cutting, we are going to need to measure how much we need to cut. So let me just get my hair out of the way will probably be easier for this. So this one that I have here, I've actually cut probably a little bit more than I would have wanted to. That's the most common mistake that I have made when I'm doing this is cutting too much off. And you can definitely cut a bit more off afterwards, but you cannot stick it back on. So if anything, be really cautious and cut less off because yeah, if you cut too much, you've kind of had it. I mean, this is fine. Um, I don't mind this, but it's probably a little more than I would like. So what you wanna do is measure from the base of your neck so here and measure across to the top of your shoulder now this is where it can go wrong if you are not careful because you don't want to measure too low down and you don't want to measure too high up it wants to be kind of just on the just sort of below the top of your shoulder if that makes sense so kind of there hope you guys can see that so you want to take that measurement for me that's coming up at 35 so I'm going to go for 33 I know that's a couple of centimeters down but you'll see why in a minute that you are better off going lower than higher you don't want to mess it up <laughs> the first time so round down and you want to take this measurement and a half it so my measurement I need is 16 and a half centimeters so the first thing you want to do is fold your t-shirt in half with the design on the outside and it doesn't matter too much about the bottom but just make sure that the top is definitely in half like that just check that it's all nicely folded in half at the top and then we are just going to mark the middle of the t-shirt right there on the crease like that and it doesn't matter if you're putting pen on this bit because we're going to be cutting that off then you want to fold it back out and just have it nice and flat this is actually one of ian's t-shirts but i did check with him and he said it's fine that i do this so then you've got your little mark in the middle next you want to take the tape measure and where you have put your little line in the middle you want to find the amount so for me it was 16 and a half and just line that up with the little mark that you've made then keeping that measurement level with the line you want to just turn it this way because we're obviously going to be cutting 
a kind of rounded shape along the neckline. So make sure that is lined up with your 16 and a half or whatever it happens to be for you. And then you want the top of the tape measure up here to be matching with the very top of the t-shirt. So then you want to take your pen again and we're just gonna mark the inside of the tape measure here. And now we've got our little mark at the top and we've got our mark in the middle. Okay, now we're going to start our cutting and we're gonna be starting from the mark we've made in the top here. And we're only gonna be cutting the top layer of the fabric, not the bottom. So just be careful that you don't cut through both of them. And to start the cutting, you can either do a cut sort of through the two layers, just a really, really tiny cut to get it going, or you can just kind of pinch your scissors into the top layer, I hope that makes sense, um, which is what I'm gonna do, just make sure it's on, there we go, the outside of the little mark that you've made, and you can see I've made a hole there, and it's on the other side of the mark. And the line we are gonna cut is just going to go along here, meeting up with the kind of ribbed neckline, but we are cutting that off and going halfway across to this mark. And it doesn't have to be perfectly precise. So don't panic if you kind of feel like the edges are a bit jagged or anything like that, because you'll see why that doesn't matter in a minute. So once you get to your middle mark there, you stop. Then we need to kind of detach this piece by cutting along here. And I normally just kind of neaten it up a bit there so that I can go straight along the kind of band on the inside, if that makes sense. So by this point, it will look something like this with this bit kind of hanging. Then you're gonna take this piece fold it over to the other side and then we are going to use this as a guide to cut the rest of the way still only cutting the top layer and then when you get to the very top then just stop there and it should look something like that. So now you've got one big piece kind of hanging off there. Like I said before, if the cut doesn't look perfect, that's absolutely fine. What you really want to avoid doing with this method is cutting really low down. I've done that before where this line would kind of go more like this, really kind of scooping downwards and that doesn't look right at all. So you want it to be kind of a fairly shallow um, line like this. And from here, we obviously want to remove this bit and I'm just gonna cut straight across the top. Don't cut inwards in a scooping kind of way. We are literally going to cut across this little bit here. Just cutting off the kind of ribbed band there. to join up with the other edge. So this bit now should be completely cut off. As you can see, this back part is not completely perfect. It's a bit of a jagged edge. You can neaten that up if you want to, maybe kind of take a bit off here, but whatever you do, don't cut it sort of scooping down like that or the hole will be too big. So I'll just kind of neaten it up there a little bit. So now we are gonna cut the bottom of the t-shirt. You don't have to be very precise with this part either, just make sure that you've got it lined up at the bottom there. And if you're happy with the length of the t-shirt as it is, we are just gonna cut the kind of thicker ribbed part of the bottom. If the t-shirt is way too long and you want it a bit shorter, then cut more off. Just make sure that you don't do too much because however much you cut off, it is gonna come up a little bit higher with the method we're gonna use. So cut it sort of a little bit longer than you think, otherwise it'll be too short. And like I was saying earlier, you can't stick it back on. So um, this one is probably about the length that I want it. So I'm just going to cut the band off the bottom. Also, some people like to tuck their t-shirts in or they like to kind of tie them at the bottom. So if you want to do either of those things, then make sure you leave enough length on the bottom and literally all we are going to do is just start cutting through both layers this time and chop this bottom part off. Like I said, it doesn't matter if you are not too precise with it. It really won't show. You will see why in a second. So try and keep it even, obviously, but just cut that part off. Super easy. And then we do the same to both of the sleeves. So just cutting off the kind of ribbed part so that you have a raw edge.
Okay, so you should now have something that looks like this. So you will have cut the neck and both of the sleeves and at the bottom. So now what we're gonna do is gently kind of tug on the bottom where we have done that cutting and you will see that the edges will start to roll like that so when i was saying before not to cut it too short that's why because it will roll up a little bit and you could end up with a t-shirt that is shorter than you wanted so just go around and do that also to the sleeves and again, that's why it doesn't matter if it's slightly jagged on the edges because the edges roll over and you don't see them anyway. You just keep doing that all the way around. And then when you get to the neck, don't pull as hard on the neck just because, like I was saying earlier, we don't want it to be too stretched and too off the shoulder. Um, we don't want it falling off and sliding down. So don't like tug too hard, just kind of gently go around and do that and like i was saying earlier in the video if you notice at the back like this bit i would be tempted to kind of maybe just cut that little bit off that's fine you can always do that afterwards we're just trying to get the main shape and it should have like rolled over a bit on the front so i'm going to go and put this on and we can see how we've done and there we have one off the shoulder mr potato head shirt so like i was saying earlier with the sleeves and things if you wanted that to be shorter you can cut a little bit more off again with the neck if you had cut it too small you could go in and carefully just trim a little bit extra from so whichever side you've got it kind of off the shoulder there um, just trim a little bit but be really careful you don't want to scoop it down like this because it will then just drop um, off the shoulder it'll be way too loose and you'll kind of have it hanging down here which is not what you want but you could wear it like this or you can kind of have it off both shoulders so it's more kind of straight across like that i know some people prefer that but the point is it's not kind of right up at your neck like it was before i really don't like that and in terms of like getting it the right amount you'll notice the one i had on before was lower like i was saying i feel like i cut that one maybe a little bit too much so i have some that are more like that i have some that are just kind of a little bit off the shoulder like this but you can play around with it Get it how you want to but if you cut too much off in the first place there's nothing you can do about it so definitely start by making a smaller hole when you're doing the measuring take a couple of centimeters off if you're really worried take a few and also you'll find once you have started wearing it and it kind of gives a little bit if you first put it on and you think oh no it's not quite a big enough gap just wear it around the house a little first and make sure because sometimes it does sort of loosen up and if you've cut more off then it will start to fall off all over the place and be uncomfortable so yeah that's the basic method and it is just a case like I say with the length of the shirt and the arms and everything else just play around with it get it how you want it but that is the basic method of how I do that so it's really easy it's no kind of major um, difficult thing to do it is just a case of like I said the one top tip do not cut too much off in the first place and then you can always do a little bit more afterwards and at first I was a little bit worried about washing them when they've got like this raw edge where you've cut it off I don't find that it frays because fabric um, used for t-shirts is like jersey fabric it doesn't like fray or do anything crazy just make sure you're not washing it on like an aggressive cycle or anything um, and before you go ahead and cut any t-shirts I would wash them first in case they shrink because obviously if you don't and then you cut it then you wash it it could end up feeling like a completely different fit so always wash them first before you start cutting and also this one looks a little bit different because the t-shirt is bigger than the Aladdin one that I just had on so it does look slightly different but the method is the same it doesn't really matter how big the t-shirt is around your body it will still work the same way when you are cutting the neck but the overall look of the t-shirt may just look slightly different if the t-shirt is bigger or smaller so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful if you did give it a thumbs up and good Good luck to everyone with their t-shirt cutting like I said just practice first if you would like to see more of me wearing these t-shirts in the Disney parks you can head over and subscribe to my Disney in detail channel I upload vlogs and various different videos over there so head over and check that out and I will put all the links below to my social media and patreon and everything else as well if you want to check those out as always thank you guys so much for watching I hope you're having a great day and I will see you in the next one bye